What's going on, YouTube? Wait, wait, hold on. What's up, YouTube? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. YouTube, what's going on? Wait, 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 wait. YouTube, what's up? Y'all already know what it is. So, now let me put, let me take all this stuff off. <sighs> no, in all seriousness, was well, serious, not serious. These masks, these masks, these masks. Is y'all wearing a mask or nah? Because I'm going to be honest with you. When all this first came out, I said, I ain't going to put on no mask. I ain't wearing no mask. I said it. I was one of those people. I wasn't going to put on no mask. But with the cases rising and with my state, Alabama, being a... Uh, one of those states with high numbers. Uh, I feel like I should do my part in the community. If I'm going to be out and about, I'm going to go ahead and put on a mask. I'm going to go ahead and put on my mask. Now, uh, social distancing, been doing that. Like, you see my bubble? Don't back up, man. Back up. But um, I don't know. It's getting crazy. And, like, I'm not shaming nobody that's not wearing one. Or whatever but like it's really starting to hit home for real like at first it was you knew somebody that knew somebody that knew somebody that had the virus now we just know people that got it you see what i'm saying um i don't know i will say this it's not y'all it's not the end all be all yes yeah, some people it's going to hit some people harder than others, but uh, for the most part, the people I know that do got it, like didn't show any symptoms or mild symptoms and are okay. You know, we still got to be careful. We still got to social distance, but it is crazy. Now, I, I'm wearing my mask in the grocery store. I don't wear it in the barber shop. I ain't going to tell you no story. Uh, I wear it if I'm at any other store. Uh, I don't wear it in the car. Like, why y'all be having y'all mask on in the car? That don't make no sense. But, and while we on the subject of all of this anyway, you know, I still, I done cooked out one time. I done cooked at home one time since I've been here. And that was some boiled eggs. And I don't even think that count for real. So, I still eat out a lot. And I understand that a lot of these restaurants are trying to put forth effort to make sure everything is sanitized and, you know, as least contact as possible. But I don't get this now. Come help me. Help me now. Help me out. So I went to Burger King the other day. Went to Burger King. I was in the drive through and, you know, the first window, they take your money and it's supposed to be contact list okay pull up to the window man tells me my total i give him my car well excuse me he has this bucket out of the window this tray bucket whatever you want to call it i put my car in the bucket he takes the bucket takes my car swipes my car takes my receipt with my car and puts it back in the bucket still touching then I take my hand and wrench it inside that bucket and grab my card and my receipt who's everybody else's cards and receipts and cash have been in that same bucket and it enters back my car which it don't bother me none because like I'd be wiping my car down anyway but it's just like, it would have been way simpler for me to just hand you my card and you grab it at the end and take it. I don't understand that. My cousins were over the other day. We ordered a pizza. We ordered a pizza from Pizza Hut. The guy, God knows what, done to my pizza while I was at Pizza Hut. It's in his car. Well, then he takes my pizza out of the little bag. 
sets it on this little round thing. Well, at first I give him the money, takes a piece out of my bag, sets it on this little round thing, place it on it, then I pick the pizza up off the round thing and take it in the house. Like, it's, it's just some things you can't avoid. It's just some things you can't avoid. And like stuff like that are, you still touched it. I mean, you can call it contactless, but you still touched it. That doesn't make sense to me. But I understand that they are trying and they are putting forth effort. And I appreciate that. I give you an A for that. But it's, it's still crazy. As I'm slowly getting more and more furniture and stuff, I have been inviting friends and family over to come and look at the house or whatever, but you best believe when they get to that door. Um, are you experiencing any symptoms of COVID-19? Have you been around anybody who has COVID-19? Well shoot, come on in then. And you best believe when they leave. But I don't know, it's, this stuff is crazy, yo. It's messing up everybody's summer plans, but but you know, you still got folks going to the beach, which honestly, my opinion, I don't fault nobody for wanting to get out the house. You can, We can't stay at home forever, for one. And we cannot live our lives in fear. We cannot live our lives in fear. I understand we are in a pandemic, but we cannot live in fear for the rest of our lives. And I'm just leaving it at that because I'm not a coronavirus expert. I'm not a doctor. I ain't none of that. So yeah, do what you want to do, but make sure you social distancing. And if you have a mask, just put on a mask. Peace.